So I was searching through eBay looking for things to fill my mailbag with, as you do. And I spotted this little kit here, which looks pretty interesting. But the closer I got looking at it, the more I realized I don't need to buy this as a kit. I think I've already got all the stuff I need to make this hanging around right here. So that's what I'm doing today. So further online uh, searching found me a schematic, which I can use. Um, and it's a super simple circuit. The 555, a couple of capacitors, handful of resistors, some push buttons, and a speaker. Nothing to it. So let's grab the parts needed. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see, just get up off of that thing. Uh, soulful brown ale from Devil May Care Brewing in Winnipeg. And I've got a bunch of this other stuff too. What we need out of here, let's clear this out a little bit, is one, two, three, four, five, one K resistors. There's some, and I need a, I need one 10K resistor over there. I'll explain this circuit in a second. That's 10K, and I need a 10K pot. There's a bunch of them. I need a 100 nanofarad and a 10 microfarad capacitor out of my assortment here. 100 nanofarad is the 104s and a 10 nano. Where are they? So, how this circuit works is basically it is an oscillator um, right there. And the frequency of the oscillator is set by these two resistors and that capacitor there. This capacitor is just a DC block going to the speaker. All right, I need a speaker. Um, I'll find one. Oh, wait. There's one. That'll do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's just a DC block there. So, you can vary the, the uh, frequency either by changing that capacitor or this resistance um, between that point there and pin 2. And how this basically does it is there's a 10K pot there, so it can be anything from 0 to 10K. Um, and then if you push the first button, that puts just that one into the circuit, uh, uh, creating your, your first oscillator circuit. And then as you push a different button, it adds 1K to the circuit, except for the last one, which adds 10K. I don't know why. And these could realistically be anything as could that one there is online calculators that you can use to figure this all out let me go and find one so literally the first hit on searching for 555 calculator comes up with this so our circuit in this position here between pin 6 and 2 and ground ours is 100 nano you could do this the hard way. I'm not going to. I don't feel like going through the calculations. Um, you could you could look up what the calculation is. So anyway, R1 between VCC and pin 7 is 1K in our case. And R2 is the one that varies. So with just the, with the pot... Uh, the first button is going to give you anywhere between 10k and nothing. So that will be 687 ohms or 687 hertz 
If it's uh, at zero, it's going to be 14 kilohertz, which will be hard to hear. If it's in the middle, it'll be like 1.3. And then let's go back to 10. And as we go along each button, you can see the frequency changing down here. As you go along and then I think what is the last one going to be I think it's 24 is about right yeah so there's the frequencies that we're going to get out of the thing or yeah so that's uh, and you could keep adding resistors to uh, to get different increments you could change those increments as however you want you can make them go every every 5k do that Okay, that's getting a little bit low 30 you know so that's uh there's all kinds of possibilities and that's just with that one frequency of capa or, uh, capacitor in there we could also change that to a 10 nanofarad and then okay six hertz is a little bit low for what we want but we could put in bigger resistors and get the same thing out of it so you can you can vary those however a variable capacitor is a little bit more a pain in the ass to do than variable resistors. And we could do it with a whole bunch of capacitors too, right? Just switch in different capacitors with the buttons and leave the resistors alone. But resistors are cheaper. So I'm just going to throw this thing together off camera mostly. And uh, then we'll come back. Throwing, putting things into breadboards is pretty straightforward. I don't think anybody needs to watch me doing that too much. Okay, and the speaker from ground. Ah, get in there, you. To the capacitor. Those of you who are observing carefully at the being may have noticed that I pulled a 10 nanofarad capacitor out of my part stash instead of a 10 microfarad capacitor. This is, in fact, a 10 microfarad capacitor. Uh, so, I think that's all the connections. Now then, put some power on here. Schematic's asking for a 9-volt battery. I'm just going to use my 9-volt power supply here. My variable power supply. Which I have set for 9 volts. And uh, let's drop that back down just in case. 100 and some milliamps. That shouldn't blow things up. Okay, power on. Not making any noise. It shouldn't be making any noise until... <coughs> Yahoo! <coughs> and the pot should adjust that. Get in there, you. I hate slotted screwdrivers. <coughs> yeah, man. I don't know where the camera's going to grab that, so let's just go down there. Okay, so that's with the 10K pot in there at whatever it's set to. That's adding this 1K resistor. That's adding this 1K resistor. So that was this push button here. Uh, so that's this one, this one, this one, this one. So that is all the 1K resistors and the 10K pot. Then this last one adds in the last 10k pot so we have 10 11 12 13 14 plus question mark probably five ish so there um this is just a very basic little 555 circuit i mean i could tune it to actual notes using that calculator again and putting a bunch of pots, probably 1K pots, in these positions instead of these resistors. Then I could tune each note to something. But that's a lot of effort. Or you could add a whole bunch more notes if you had a bigger breadboard. And more push buttons and stuff. Just keep adding on here forever. Um, these resistors could easily be anything. And you move them around. I'm going to take that 10K resistor out of the last position there and replace it with... And move a 1K down there. And let's put this guy sort of in the middle. 
That's actually not going to change anything, is it? Well, it is, but it isn't, because this is going to be the same. It's just that skip is going to happen. Actually, yeah, now we have three low notes and two high notes. Or I could put in a couple more. I could do it all with 10Ks, I guess. Have it drop down a whole bunch more. But you could use, like I said, you could use whatever resistor you want. Okay, so that's negligible difference there because that last one's a 1K with the 10Ks in front of it. Let's move him back up to the front here and just have these last two be 10Ks. Then we should hear more of a difference. This is just a fun little circuit to play with and experiment with and get used to how the different resistor values affect the 555. So these two should still be high. And that's actually, right? And that one should be low. And that one should be a whole bunch more low again. And we could drop this guy way down if we wanted to. I'm, you, you've seen how it works. It's, it's pretty straightforward, but it is... Like this 555 circuit, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did a video on this one. This guy is the 555 plus the 4017, which is just a 10 light chase thing. Let's, let's throw some voltage onto that. What the hell? What is that? I don't know what that is. Grab a couple of jumpers here. J1. Positives that side, so negatives that side. 9 volts should be okay on this thing, I think. Yeah, and that's what that one does. This resistor, variable resistor, is just in series like this. So basically, take that out, put that down to uh, pin 2, and uh, then the variable resistor does its magic in changing the speed. That's sending clock pulses along, um, nice and slow to this guy, which is just, yeah. I'll, I'll link to this, to the video where I did this. It's, it's another super simple, good beginner kit. Um, and if you wanted to do this, if you didn't happen to have the parts on hand and you wanted to do it in a slightly less messy and janky way than what I did, um, You could easily grab one of those ones off eBay. Um, you saw the search terms back at the beginning. I might link to the search uh, down in the description. Actually, I probably will. Um, yeah, all kinds of uh, fun variants on this little kit. Uh, kit. It's. It could be a kit. It's. Yeah. You know, whatever. If if you've been tinkering with electronics for long enough, you've probably got everything you need to make this sitting in stock, just like I did. And yeah. It's a quick, fun little evening's amusement. Thanks for stopping by. Um, beginners, especially beginners, um, let's uh, hear what you got to say down in the comments. We'll discuss this. Uh, if you got questions or stuff that I didn't uh, answer, feel free. Um, people with more experience, more than beginners or more than me even, um, feel free to answer. Uh, what kind of fun weirdness have you done with 555s? Anyway, yeah, thanks for everything. Um, I will talk to you later.